Hello, it's the Art Monarch, and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm trying to draw in an abstract style, which I've done a lot in the past, so I'm switching it up. And I also want to talk about focusing and how I stay focused when I'm drawing for long periods of time. For instance, I'll start, I'll sit down and draw for three or four hours. It's not always easy. It's a difficult challenge, and it can be... A tedious process at times but once you get into the flow of things it gets easier right so what I do is I make a lot of abstract doodles some of them I post but generally I stick with cyberpunk robots and that's what this channel is mainly about but I'll steer into other categories at times and this here is an abstract tattoo kind of drawing that's what I call them and this is an angler fish but I start out drawing just simple shapes a sphere a circle dots little just black dots and then connecting them together I've been doing this for a few years now for about seven or eight years I've been making these types of drawings and it's pretty effortless now I just start drawing and putting lines down and then it just kind of connects together. I'm not sure I'm not sure how to explain it exactly cuz I've been doing it for so long without reference without you know, I get an idea, okay, I want to draw an angler fish. I want to draw some kind of monster. And so I start out with a few dots, a circle, an eye, a main I a main base to start from. I start with the eye. That's the focal point and then I sort of explode outwards into all different directions but anyways how do I stay focused the best way to stay focused while drawing is to listen to music you know find an album listen to a couple of songs make a playlist and then listen to that while you're drawing that's pretty much what I do all the time when I'm drawing that's how I produce so much and make a lot of content and everything is because I'm listening to music and very helpful that's probably the most powerful tool that I have and then also what I do is stipple you'll notice that when I'm drawing when I'm making this abstract drawing here if I'm not making a line I'm putting a, putting a dot down and it's very easy just start in one place put a dot down and then slowly branch your way out with more dots I used to make a lot of clouds and wispy smoke shapes out of just stippling and dots. It's a pretty fun way to draw. If you're an artist and you're watching this, chances are that you don't make a lot of abstract drawings. So maybe you should, maybe try it out, because I feel like it's a, an extremely meditative process when you're just putting lines down, connecting them together in various shapes and forms and trying to make something out of it it's a meditative process and once you get into that zone you don't really feel like doing anything you, that's the that's what I strive for I want to get to the point where I'm I don't want to do anything else I just want to stay on the page and go into another world and create something like that but try abstract drawing I think it's a great way to just get confident with making lines because at the end of the day that's all that drawing is it's just putting a bunch of lines down in a way that makes sense so another way that I stay focused when I'm drawing is by using fine nibs very tiny skinny lines on the paper and this is more of a personal thing because when I'm using a pen that is thick and the line is just very wide I don't feel it doesn't satisfy me it doesn't make me want to draw but when I have a very small line it makes me zoom in on the page because if the line is very skinny and small on the page then you have to look a little bit closer I notice myself leaning very close to the page basically pushing my face onto the sketchbook and that's a that's a pretty good way to stay focused right if you can't see the line then you have to look closer 
And if you're looking closer, you're going to be more focused, right? Logically, that makes a lot of sense to me. So that's why I use skinny lines. And also it just looks better and more high quality when it's finer and there's a lot of details going on and what have you. But that's a good way to stay focused, in my opinion. Use fine lines. It makes you look closer to the page, but it might give you a hunchback. So that's a negative but if you want to be a good artist that's sometimes you just have to make sacrifices like that but anyways those are the ways okay fine line pin and then a good playlist full of music and then really you need to just stop thinking about everything else like I said it's a meditative process and where you just have to forget about the world around you and just focus and hone in on one task at a time. I noticed when I was younger and before I started drawing, I was kind of ADHD and all over the place, thinking about multiple things all at the same time, which is a good thing. It can be good when you're thinking of ideas and putting things together, imagining stories in your head. But when you're drawing, you need to kind of forget that and just focus on the page. But sometimes y you can do both, actually. Now that I think about it, I do create stories in my head and while I'm drawing, but I've been doing it for a while, so it's pretty easy. But I can, I can switch it on and off. It's like a switch if I want to think. I can think while I'm drawing. If I don't want to think, I can just put the next line down and have fun. So the third thing that might help you focus a little more is to just have a positive mindset. Going into a drawing, going into a sketchbook or anything new is just to be positive and just completely get rid of the negativity because I used to do that a lot when it came to starting, draw, starting a drawing or you have an idea, you want to put something down, and you're like, okay, I, I feel like this isn't going to work, but what you have to do is you just got to be like, okay, this is going to be great, this is going to be a good sketchbook, and it's going to turn out amazing, this drawing is going to be perfect. And it's better than having the mindset of, okay, this. why am I even going to do this? Why am I going to start it's just not a good mindset to have when it comes to anything so just be positive I know it's simple but it's all it's a good way to focus and it should help you but music fine line pins positive mindset those are the three those are the keys and then when you put all the keys together you get a gigantic key and once you get that key then you can use it Okay, and those are the keys for today. <laughs> okay, I'll I, look every once in a while. I'll give you my three keys, and then you can put them all together and create something out of it. I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe you got something out of this. Maybe this helped a little, or hopefully you enjoyed the drawing. This is different. It's a, the style is out there. It's an abstract drawing. I've made hundreds. In fact, probably over a thousand of these drawings that look like this with slight variations and a little bit of color here and there. But I enjoy these drawings, but I also like robots and stuff, which can be difficult getting everything symmetrical and in shape perfectly. But that's the idea. That's the video here for today. I'll be doing a lot more of drawings, longer videos, and trying just to get things out there. The goal recently is to get the ideas out there, get the unique things onto the page, and then hopefully a few people can get inspired and then do something for themselves, and it'll make things better, if that makes sense. If a few people like these drawings and then they try something and then it gets them doing something, then that's that's a win really but yeah that's pretty much it for today a little longer video I may draw some more 
abstract things here and there if you like it i don't know but that's it for today have a good night